Hi there everyone, it's Amanda here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add color and details really easily to your die cuts. Also, I'm going to show you how my creative process can get really messy sometimes. So these are most of the supplies that I will be using today. These are new die cuts and stamp sets by Simon's Stamp. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is die cut a bunch of flowers. And as you can see, I'm going to leave the stem outside because I'm not really going to use it. I'm going to cut that out later. Now let's color these die cuts. As I said, it's really easy, but especially if we are using floral die cuts, this technique works very well. So we just have to take our blending tool, the ink pad that you want to use. In my case, I'm using the Stress Oxide inks because I love them and because they blend really well, but any other ink can work the same way. So we're going to start always from the edge and we're going to move towards the center. This way we're not only adding color but also dimension and I think the effect is really cool. And here is what I had the idea of die cutting all the flowers again using craft cardstock. Honestly, I don't know if it was a good idea or not. I don't know why I did it because I really like the flowers and now basically I'm going to cover them up with these other dyes. But I don't know, I had that kind of day where I didn't have it very clear and just experimented a bit. Now I'm going to heat emboss that sentiment, but because it took me a while to arrange all the flowers, I'm going to use press and seal to keep them in place. I always use this when I have to arrange elements on my cards because I really take a long time and I don't want to start over again just because I have to do something else on the card first.
And a great way to add details to your die cuts once they're colored is to use a white gel pen. I'm going to be doing some dots here and there, but I've also seen a lot of people using these for highlights and it looks really good. So up until here everything was going more or less smoothly but things started to get complicated when I added the bow. First I wanted to put it somewhere in the lower part then I didn't like it, I wanted to change it, I considered adding more flowers, maybe adding more dots or other embellishments. So at some point I decided to turn off the camera because I was really not I didn't know what I was doing and I forgot to turn it back on so you're not going to see how everything uh, happened but you're going to see how it ended and I well in the end I kept the bow I added more flowers and I added more embellishment so as I said it was a really weird day where I experimented I think my style is normally less crowded let's call it but it's not that i don't like it i like it it's just a bit different from what i normally do i think i don't know tell me what you think anyway that was the card for today i hope you liked it thank you so so much for watching and remember that these supplies are listed below the video also on my blog where by the way there is a giveaway because this is part of a blog hop celebrating the newest Simon's stamp release. So if you want to go over there, there is the link also uh, below the video. Have a great weekend everyone and see you next time. Bye!